Airlines will never be the same when Tesla takes over. The ambition of the future has always been to travel faster and for less money, especially in the 1980s. A typical trip from New York to London would take seven hours on a regular plane. However, the Concorde reduced this flight time to 3.5 hours. At the time, the Concorde was praised as the aircraft that would rule the future century. However, as we all know now, there were a number of issues with this aircraft. For one thing, the fuel was expensive and limited the plane's range. However, what if I told you that this is a new supersonic aircraft coming out soon? This is where Tesla's supersonic vertical takeoff and landing jet comes into play, a device that Elon Musk has been dreaming of building for years. Additionally, it was also claimed that the plane was destroying the ozone layer right away. At some point, I have a design in mind for electric supersonic vertical technology, and I think there's a particular opportunity for supersonic vertical takeover landing electric jet. Supersonic electric jet, vertical takeover landing electric jet, a supersonic electric vertical takeoff landing jet, and an electric jet. In this clip, I will discuss how Tesla is about to revolutionize the airline business as we know it. The switch to electric vehicles is already accelerating since they are faster, less expensive to maintain, and soon will be less expensive than internal combustion engines. The energy density limitations of current batteries are mostly to blame for the fact that the shift to electric planes has never even started. Batteries currently cannot power an airplane for the duration of a flight, and even with EVs, we are still at the stage where one charge will not be sufficient for a road trip. Tesla, on the other hand, has been working on a battery that will be much denser than previous lithium-ion batteries. According to many battery experts, 400 watt-hours per kilogram is the point at which batteries become dense enough to support vertical takeoff and landing. VTOL is the ability to fly an aircraft straight up and land like a drone. Many military aircraft employ this kind of technology, which is especially useful in situations where there is not enough room for horizontal takeoff. To have a compelling aircraft, you only really need about 400 watts per kilogram provided the percentage of the cell on the aircraft is high, it doesn't need to be anywhere near as high as it is on a rocket, but if it's sort of at the 70% level of 400 watts per kilogram, you can do very decent range. Elon Musk has claimed that it would likely happen in 3 to 4 years and that 400 watt hours per kilogram with a long cycle life and high production volume is not that far away. Additionally, he already has a design for a VTOL jet and is ready to build one as soon as the battery density permits it. I mean, the exciting thing to do would be some sort of electric vertical takeoff and landing supersonic jet of some kind of vertical takeoff and lighting, meaning no need for a runway, just shoot up straight in the air and then. Therefore, we are aware that Elon has a Tesla VTOL jet design. The Concorde failed to gain widespread acceptance for three main reasons, as I mentioned in the introduction of this video. Fuel was expensive, the aircraft was noisy, and the gas harmed the ozone layer. Because energy is far less expensive than fuel and, at worst, will have an impact on purity when gas planes operate at normal speeds, Tesla's future electric plane solves all three of these problems. Additionally, electricity is far quieter than engines, as evidenced by electric vehicles or EVs. Because EVs are so silent, there have been heated discussions about requiring false engine noises on all EVs. So if I were to go down here now and shift it into the drive, I'll be quiet, you're gonna hear this kind of hum. Moreover, if they did not hear this sound the entire flight, I am confident that everyone would be considerably happier. All of these things make perfect sense in relation to electric planes because there would be not much, if any, ozone layer damage and because the plane is powered by electricity. In general, the higher you fly, the less efficient the plane is for gas-powered aircraft. However, for electric aircraft, the higher you fly, the more effective the aircraft is. Pay special attention to this since it has enormous potential, as Elon Musk has previously mentioned. I think the optimal sort of air transport solution is a VTOL electric supersonic plane and it actually works together quite well for a bunch of reasons, 
In particular, the higher you go, the better the electric, the more efficient the electric aircraft is. Whereas if you have a combustion aircraft, as you get higher, it tends to get worse because you have a kind of a fixed aperture and air scoop. Yeah, like the engine is the hole in the front of the engine is a fixed size and so you have to pick a particular cruising altitude and so you've got to figure out how do you get the right amount of air at sea level all the way through really high altitude and then you've got this issue of supersonic combustion that you know you see in it having to slow the air down and it ends up being not the efficient but electric aircraft would just get better and better as it got too higher. This will help allow supersonic speeds much faster than you would imagine since electric aircraft become more efficient the higher they fly. Additionally, as you climb, the air becomes thinner, reducing air resistance. According to this idea, electric airplanes can fly faster and quicker because there is less air resistance on them as they ascend. Unlike engines, which must find a method to get the correct amount of air to operate effectively. Elon discussed this theory in the prior clip. Elon emphasized this when he proposed his Hyperloop concept, which aims to build a supersonic train inside a tunnel. This is why it is much easier to fly faster in space than in the atmosphere. In order to go really fast with a plane, you have to climb pretty high because the atmosphere just looks like molasses when you're going fast. So you know for distances, certainly under 500 miles, you spend all your time just ascending and descending and you don't really get an opportunity to spend time at cruise. So something like a hyperloop can complete really well in that arena because you instantly or very almost instantly enter a low pressure environment. Rolls-Royce has been working to develop an electric jet that could fly up to 300 miles per hour. But Tesla might easily surpass that by a significant amount with considerably superior battery technology and designs, making it incredibly possible to estimate the speed that an electric plane would go. Every time a new technology enters the market, the long-dominant corporation must decide whether to invest heavily in it or to continue doing what it has been doing for years. Long dominant corporations frequently make a second decision and run the risk of becoming outdated, as happened to Blockbuster and Nokia. Therefore, given that we are aware of how frequently this occurs, Airbus may experience a problem shortly. Elon is convinced that this is the case because businesses today are incredibly risk averse, and for good reason, the approach works until you are disrupted. Well, it seems unlikely to come from booing Airbus given that they seem to be focused on very incremental improvements to the planes as opposed to radical improvements. Overall, when the batteries get dense enough to enable supersonic flying, an electric jet really starts to make sense. Additionally, Tesla has long aimed to speed up the development of sustainable energy sources, which requires upending the airlines.